Hello, welcome to Sarah Appreciates. I'm Sarah, and I talk about cancer issues, cancer topics usually. Uh, so someone recently asked me if I had gotten a second opinion about my cancer treatment, and that's what we're talking about right now. To answer the question most simply, yes, I got a second opinion, and a third, and a fourth, and a fiftieth. Okay, this is how it went down. And maybe before you get a second opinion, you should ask your medical professionals if this is how your medical care works too. All right, so the day I went in to get my diagnosis and treatment plan, they postponed my appointment. I didn't realize this until after, well, during my second opinion appointment. <laughs> uh, I was, uh, they had had a seminar where they go over all of their cases and so forth, and they were having that seminar that morning, so they had postponed my appointment until later that afternoon. I went in there after everybody in the state that has an oncology degree talked about my boobies already. So by the time I got to my second opinion appointment, I was met with, you know, a doctor who was pleasantly, but, you know, confused about why I was there. What, what's wrong? Are you unhappy with your oncologist? Did she do something wrong? They like each other. You know, they're friends, they're colleagues. No, I said, I just wanted to go outside of my medical group to get a second opinion on how you would treat my disease and blah, blah, blah. Well, we already discussed it. I remember your case well. And I found out that day that they had been having this seminar together and that like 50 different doctors from all over the state oncologists all of them scientists that's how they learn from each other that's how they learn i'm not a scientist so i don't know these things so anyways <laughs> silly me i had asked for us i wasted people's time i guess but you know it did give me a peace of mind knowing that all these different doctors got together discussed what to do and they all decided on my treatment well, going forward, that makes me a lot more confident. So if you feel like you need to do it, go ahead. But maybe first ask your doctor if they talk to their other colleagues. You know, how do they arrive at your treatment decision? Who do they talk to? Do they go to these seminars? So find out what that's like in your state. And maybe it's just as simple as that. And you can have like 50 different second opinions like I had. So that's, that's, that's what that is. Anyway, that's my thought for the day. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Also, if you like my content, please consider subscribing. All right. And uh, thumbs up. <laughs> anyway, as always, please be kind to yourself and others. Have a great day. Bye.